going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I have another Spin Master unboxing and review. Uh, this is one truck from Mix 10 that I needed to pick up. You guys can obviously tell, um, I'll give you a hint, it's this truck actually, but it's not the Nitro Neons one because that's the one right there that I am going to compare it to. Um, it is the truck from the title of this video and the thumbnail and it is the, uh, updated version of soldier fortune in the singles pack um the reason why i decided to get this was because last year when the soldier fortune and soldier fortune black ops double pack came out i didn't pick it up because i thought it would come out in the singles but <clears throat> uh sadly it did not so i had to wait until this year and mix 10 was a hard case for me to find uh, I only found uh, the Boneyard Trucks Grave Digger from the actual stores, and then I ordered the Grave Digger Red Truck on eBay. So these are so here's another one to add to uh, my collection, and I am officially one truck away from completing Mix Ten, which is awesome. So uh, let's take a look at the trucks on the back here. You got the Boneyard Grave Digger Monster Mutt Poodle. Uh, El Toro Loco, Scooby Doo, Stone Crusher, Queen Bee, Inverse Brodozer, and the Ride, gr Ride Truck Grave Digger. I meant to say, sorry, two trucks. I'm only, uh, I'm still missing Monster Mutt Poodle and Inverse Brodozer. So, yeah, there we go. I'm super excited to get Soldier Fortune open. So let's open them right now. By the way, these card, this card, in like perfect condition. I posted, I posted a. Uh, a video of me finding these on my Instagram. By the way, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. Um, I will leave a link in my description so that you guys can go follow me. So, uh, let's get this unboxed with now. Awesome. Oh, jeez. There we go. Soldier Fortune's about to roll off just like that. Wow. Alright, set so that right there. Alright, let's take a look at the Soldier Fortune card. You can see the awesome logo. Let's take a look at the wristband color here. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a weird green color. I don't know what the color is, but let's see if they can fit on my tiny midget hands. Oh, come on. Wow. Fits for my tiny midget arm <laughs> oh that's funny that's pretty funny so it has the monster jam logo as you can tell and then monsterjam.com right there as well so there's the wristband uh there's a mixed 10 poster but we already looked at this in my boneyard grave digger unboxing and review it is actually scooby-doo you can see the tail so <laughs> All right, set that off to the side, and let's roll in Soldier Fortune from 2020. A uh, very nice truck, actually. I um, this is the fourth Soldier Fortune I own. I have the 2016 Hot Wheels Monster Jam one. I have the Nitro Neons one right here, and then the Ice Soldier Fortune. So now I have normal Soldier Fortune. Very nice truck indeed. I love uh, how it, they included the BKT just like the Soldier Fortune Black Ops. But the last year's double pack did not have the BKT. So that's another reason why I wanted to get it. And I didn't pick it, uh, the double pack up last year. So uh, let's take a look here. Let's do an in-depth graphics review here. You can see the Soldier Fortune logo. You get the camo and then you can see the Monster Gym logo. Then the United States flag. The US flag. Um, some looks like to be some sort of code. You can see the driver in there and there's more camo going up to the nose and hood of the truck. There's more camo and then you can see the, um, nose printing. The, the other side is the exact same thing. And on the back you have the Soldier Fortune logo and the tail lights. And then sadly no gun because Feld had to ruin, had to ruin it and take out the gun, which literally makes no sense. So now let's compare it to its predecessor, the Nitro Neon Soldier Fortune. So there's the um, first side, and then uh, there's the front side. You can obviously tell there's a lot of differences. The tire color, roll cage color. Um, oh, let's see here. You can see uh, this part is black, while this one has like the normal Soldier Fortune green color. 
Um, I quite frankly like the Soldier Fortune more because it's very accurate. On the back, um, it's quite similar, I would say. This, so this Soldier Fortune logo right here is a little bit more detailed than that one. So you can read that. You can read this one probably a little easier, but I like that logo a little bit more. Uh, the Monster Jam logo right there is a lot, uh, is a lot smaller than that one, and then this one's more clear so that you can read it more. So there are just a couple differences that I have noticed with this Soldier Fortune. So I'm gonna move that one to the side, and now let's put the wristband kind of like that. So yeah, guys, that will pretty much wrap it up on this unboxing and review. Uh, make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It's 100% free and you can always undo it. So, thank you all for watching. More videos coming soon. This is Monster Jam Fan 0311 signing out.